Hey guys, it's Asgard here. Today I'm back on the PS3 with Age of Empires 2. Today we're going to play a less well known game mode called um, Tur Post Imperial Turbo. Basically, what it is is you start on Post Imperial and it's a very fast game mode with a moderately low population, um, with high resource and stuff. So, what's going to happen is hopefully it'll just be the exciting bits of the game with lots of action. So first thing you're going to want to do is pop some houses down because, well, that's always the first thing you do in an Age of Empires game. Whip some villagers out and get your scout running around. Right, we're going to throw up some walls to slow them down as much as possible. And that's all of them. Yep, okay, we need to get those people out. Right, as soon as you've got those houses up, you want to chuck down about four town centers, I'm going to say. One. Two. Nope, one there, we'll build one there, there's two. There's three. Apologies, you can only build three to start with. Okay, so if you get the rest of them start to collect some resources. I apologize as well as I am still recovering from my cold, so I do have a wee bit of a sore throat. But hopefully that won't impair things too much. Okay, you need to go get that urgently. Okay, don't worry too much about boring things because we're just looking to really throw things up at the moment. You'll find buildings built really, really quickly because we've got turbo, have loads and loads of resources because again, turbo and your villages are at enhanced collect collection rates, obviously. So what you want to do is, chances are the first thing that's really going to run out for you is going to be um, food, which is a bit of a pity. Oh, that village is dead. Try, do try and keep them on there, keep those villages alive, because it wastes time otherwise, and time is something you do not have in a post imperial or turbo match. Hopefully, yep, that's up and that's good. Okay, I've chosen the Teutons because, well, if you guys don't know by now, I do so very much love the Teutons. And they're very well balanced at this moment in time. I do need to find out who they are. British? Yeah, they're British. Okay. <coughs> very annoying because they do count to me pretty successfully. Okay. Don't need to worry about blacksmith or anything like that. Just get those buildings down. Pump out some good units, post imperial units, hopefully. Don't need that up, we need some food. food. Somewhat of a premium. Okay, go first. There we go, already attacking, see, so straight in at the action. It's going to slow them down, as long as they don't get seized, it should take a while to get through my wounds. Down. Start spewing out some farms. Okay. Trick is keep your wood above for your farms, but make sure you keep pumping those villages out for food and stuff. Okay, you will collect resources really, really quickly, as I said. Okay, so food's on the up. I uh, need to keep an eye on that population as well, so I'm going to get this villager. Just build a few more houses there. Okay, still nothing really to worry about yet. Do need to start looking at a little bit of stone. Okay, those villagers are done, so they're going to be my stone miners. Because at the moment, some Teutonic Knights will come in very useful. And whoop some ass. Okay, so the trick is just hold them off while you build up a bit of an economy, make it nice and sustainable. As you see, three layers of rules, they'll look, even if it's a player, okay, they'll be a bit quicker, they'll, well, actually, they'll probably be slower because they all need, um, they'll want to get an economy up as well, but 
If they do go for rush, which some players do do in this because, well, they have the capacity to very, 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 very easily, <coughs> then, um, well, you want to fight it off and try and build your economy up towers usually. But the trick is get that wall out early and hopefully they won't get siege. Well, even if they do get siege, it just means you're going to have to build villages even faster than they do. Okay, more villages. And here's many ready to go to a lovely little castle. Okay, just keep the villages coming. Okay, we're going to get a mill out here. Girls ready to build a castle with five more stone. Come on, one of you's got to be ready. Oh, yeah. Alright, pop your castle up. Because I'm building my castles for units, I'm going to build it a little way back from the front lines. But turbo certainly will be built really, really quickly. Get those farms out, get the food flowing, nice and bountiful. If you are doing a 1v1, gold will obviously be an issue, so you will need to have a think and a little look at some of those cheaper units. It's a little bit way, but doesn't matter at the moment, we can and finish this off quick. Okay, so I'm starting to get a bit of sort of bit of gold and stuff out. Haven't really got many troops. Yeah, they've started collecting the relics, but that's not too bad. Got a fair bit of wood. As you can see, resources. I don't have a load of villages, but I do have a few. I mean, I, I mean, I've got 53 or whatever, but it's not loads. You don't need loads. I'm probably going to get about 70 odd tops. In that castle to, to be done in mind. I'm only gonna get about 70 odd just because. <coughs> okay. Need more wood? Maybe. Let's get five more villages out of wood. Got some houses for me as well. Building's built really, really quickly. And it's all really nice. Once you build that castle, and another castle for me, I'm going to start building some Teutonic Knights because they're the ones I can build. As you can see, boosh, boosh, they come out super, super quick. Okay, and we've got population. Trick now is because the houses are built really quickly, and but also the population builds up really quickly. You've really got to, got to, got to, got to, got to keep population ahead of the game. If you do manage to wipe out, then the trick will be using hotkeys, using your numbers, keeping those buildings pumping troops out because you lose them to lapse for too long and it will just completely lapse. It'll be gone. And you'll be too far behind by that point for you to have any real. Well, it'll have so much bigger effect because everything happens that much faster, basically. Okay. Need these castles to be built, but we're also. Because the game changes quickly, you need to be very adaptable. So we're gonna get the. Uh, Okay, they're starting to build troops, so just normal counter. I will make other videos on counter and normal gameplay. This is very specific to post imperial rush turbo. So as you see, very action. I mean, I'm going to be playing for what five minutes, ten minutes, and already I am right in at the action with proper units, good units. If you <coughs> Because it changes so quickly and you always need something to be available to counter. Your strong defences, lots of defences because they'll pump through quite quickly. 
<coughs> a thing of seed feathers, I don't know why they're not particularly. Um, so you'll need loads of barracks, loads of archery ranges, loads of stables, loads of castles, loads of, loads of seed workshops, always on hand, always nearby. Really? So as close as possible, I mean I really should have got my farm that there, but a bit of hills in the way, I suppose that would be better. Lots of resources at the moment, so we can't really complain. So, gonna have a wee little tactic with the. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little go with these troops. Again, Black Forest, if you're chopping through trees, be careful because if your initial assault, your initial shock doesn't work, then you have to be very ready to defend that part, part of the passage. Passage. Right, um, I now have a lot of archers, so to my archer ranges, we'll start pumping out so be careful because they do get pumped out very quickly. Okay, I'm going to follow it up with some villagers because buildings, shock tactics, buildings in an enemy's base, you've really got to get that surprise because that surprise will. Because it'll be fast and quick, you can do a lot of damage in that amount of time that it takes for the other player to react. So, get the villagers in there, get your troops in there, get your swarming, you need, you need that initial punch has to finish them off. You need those buildings to be built, and as you see, I'm pretty much walking up. But that initial punch has to be the first and the last attack, really. I mean, as you can see, my population has been hit, and if I didn't have enough troops in their base, I would be doing that, because they'd be coming too far quickly, my swarm stopped, and I'd be losing pretty badly. Because things change very quickly, troops built quickly, so you need to keep up with that, you need to keep an eye on it. I don't really have to adapt at the moment because I chose a unit that will destroy buildings because I dropped it in the middle of my base. Build the buildings to chose troops to destroy the buildings. Build some buildings just so you can conquer the ground and make take make the most of that punchy quick attack. All about punchy quick attacks this game really. Just keep throwing the men in the strong economy because you'll just gather the resources quickly, quickly enough anyway. So just keep throwing the men in, just hold them, if the walls weren't there, you're just going to hold them with the troops, you know, keep mixing it up, mashing it up, because if you get an advantage, it can very quickly turn into an accident, because of the way, the nature of the turbo, and how quickly things can change. Okay, we just need to get some to the knights, a few more to be honest. As you can see, because I haven't really numbered my castles, I have now, it hasn't, well, I haven't pushed on, well, they've stopped producing units, which means I'm large to knights, which means I can't push forward and <coughs> start destroying them. Or at least I, well, hopefully, hopefully I'll be cooking. But on the flip side, perks are that you very quickly can make a comeback because troops suddenly start building again very quickly. As you see, loads and loads and loads and loads of villages, and I'm one of only got 31 farmers, and I'm drowning in food. Because you've, you've got all the attacks for the... You've got all the attacks for the enhanced resource collection and stuff, so you don't really need loads and loads and loads of units. Or oh, villages anyway, collecting resources. They'll, 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 they'll get resources quickly enough. Yeah, you're just filling them with Teutonic Knights now because, well, as you see, I worked with the troops, and I mean, if they fought this back, I'd probably open up another one there, but of course, because if I lose and they can punch back quickly, I need to build another castle there or something on top of a hill so we get the advantage, punch through there. Probably while well, they're forcing me back to about there, just to get the extra little burst, extra little advantage. It's so important. Punchy advantage. Okay, I think I've won this one, just need to knock these two down and then we're done. Tricky. I mean, 
uh, testing new software, some screen capture software. Um, yeah, and keep your two, to keep your villagers happy and your mills and stuff. Um, t tr trialing new screen capture software for my PC. Um, unfortunately, I don't know why it'll only let me either record the uh, sound of the gameplay or it'll let me record my voice. So obviously, because voice is a bit more important, especially for the tutorial, I've had to record my voice and not the gameplay sounds, but. Hopefully it's hopefully it's not too bad. I mean, I'll really listen to it afterwards. But hopefully, I mean, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I mean, if it does need, if you feel it does need these system sounds, I'm not talking enough, or it misses something, let me know. Or and I'll try and find something. Or if you feel it's fine with that, also let me know. Just so I know. Anyway, there we go. That is my well, probably one of my favourite uh, types of gameplay. That is the post imperial uh, rush. Have a look, turbo rather. Uh, really action paced as you could, as you saw, and a bit different. If you guys like that, feel free to play your own games. I'll be happy to play a game with you if you want to. Feel free to add me on Steam. That's Blessed Arthur. Happy to play with you. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll do some more videos showing some of the other gameplays I like. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Thanks, bye guys.